A galaxy cluster containing a structure never previously seen so far from Earth has been observed by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. The cluster is also interesting to astronomers because a bright quasar, known as 3C186, is found at its center. Dr. Aneta Chimkinowska of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics led the team's research on this result and discusses it with us. When we looked at the first results, first image we got from Chandra, very short observations, 10 years ago, we noticed that there was a point source and there was a phase around this point source, which clearly was not uh, associated directly with the quasar emission, but was coming from the surrounding of this quasar. And we were excited because uh, we discover a new cluster. A few years later, Dr. Chimkinowska and her colleagues requested a much longer Chandra observation of 3C186 to see if they could figure out what was really going on in the system. So the results of this deep uh, observations indicated that uh, the cluster has a cooling cone, and uh, cooling cone means that the gas which is falling into the gravitational potential of the cluster is cooling. Dr. Chimkinowska explains why studying these types of objects is so important to her. I'm mainly interested in evolution of radio sources. So I'm studying the young, compact radio sources in a very early stage of their expansion to become big ones. And the interaction between this expanding radio source and the cluster environment is uh, interesting. We don't understand how the energy generated by the quasar is deposited into the cluster. We know that something is happening and it's important because we want to understand the way the quasar gets its matter and its fuel to generate the energy of the quasar. But as with many areas of astrophysics, for every answer astronomers find, more questions are raised. We have a quasar which uh, powers the structure, which is huge. So how does it happen? When you look at the small source, we know that the small, smaller sources, compact sources, are very powerful. And then the, this energy, if it's still keeping at the same rate, causes the source to grow. But there is the interaction then with the environment and this energy from the quasar is deposited to the clusters of galaxies of the galaxy itself and it's being lost. But how the source stays uh, powered for so long? Scientists will continue to use Chandra to study galaxy clusters and quasars to help us better understand the universe in which we live. For more information on this result and others, visit chandra.harvard.edu.